Hi, this is Steve with Uncharted DIY. I want to respond to some questions and comments about my squirrel proof bird feeder video. Some are asking to see how it's holding up with time, and a few have suggested that hanging this in the tree was less than ideal. So I put together a short video update. Some have commented that putting a feeder on a pole in the middle of the yard away from anything is the only way to keep the squirrels out of the feeder and to keep them from chasing away the birds. For me, the big problem with that is that it just makes the feeder into a fast food drive through for the exhibitor hawks that prey on songbirds and woodpeckers. In our neighborhood, we have sharp shinned and cooper's hawks that target bird feeders, and they would love to have such easy pickings with an exposed feeder. And keeping the birds safe is our number one priority. The canopy of the tree and the large umbrella over the feeder makes it difficult for predators to see the birds at the feeder from overhead, and the birds can easily dart into the leaves and branches if they feel threatened. And there are other benefits to hanging the feeder in the tree. Because it's in the shade, the suet doesn't melt in the heat, and the birds are sheltered from blazing sun, rain, or even hail and snow. It's so comfortable that at times they just come and hang out under the umbrella and chill. This flicker in particular does this so often that we've named him Turtle, since that's what he looks like when he's relaxing on top of the feeder. This feeder is a popular spot in the yard, and I'm extremely happy with the way that this project came out. Other than the overspray from treating the leaves of the crab apple for rust, it looks just like it did when we put it up in March of 2020. Not a single squirrel has made it onto the feeder, and they've stopped even trying to get to the suet and are content just eating their own nuts and seeds. The umbrella is large enough that we've added another feeder under the suet cage and still no squirrels. Now the birds eat their bird food in peace, the squirrels eat their own food, and everyone is happy. If you haven't already made one of these and you're sitting on the fence thinking about it, you need to make one. This feeder, which may seem too good to be true, works extremely well. And if you haven't seen the original video, Check out how easy it is to make a simple squirrel-proof bird feeder for under $20 that actually works. And when you do, the creatures in your yard can be safe and enjoy peace and harmony too. This is Steve, and thanks for watching Uncharted DIY. If you have pictures of your yard that you'd like to share, make sure to leave them in the comments section on UnchartedDIY.com. If you've enjoyed this how-to video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and also check out UnchartedDIY.com where you'll find further information and more detailed how-to projects.